Hey, I saw I dropped my camera last night. It's all screwed up, but uh, it's not under warranty or anything when you screw things up that bad. So, um, I MacGyvered it. But anyway, I was just thinking. So yeah, I was smoking actually. <laughs> so maybe this is like a high with me, be high with me video. I just was cracking up to myself because <laughs> when I left my corporate office job to dive into like YouTube and online stuff full time, there had been a new like CFO at the company and she was a bit difficult, just difficult to work with in the capacity that I did. And I think she was difficult in general. Um, so... Oh wait, I forgot. Oh shoot, wait. Oh yeah. So after I left, shortly after I left, I asked my coworker who was still working there how things were going with the new CFO, and she said, <laughs> "Oh, she fell out of her chair last week. <laughs> She's been out for a few days." <laughs> I'm not making fun of people like getting hurt. But that just seems so dramatic, like you what you missed the chair, you missed your rolling office chair, and like woo alley oop oop oh I better be out for a few days now. Like what? I don't know why. It just is so, that's so funny. <laughs> now don't chew on ice. That's very very bad for your teeth. Next, my mommy called me. We talked about teeth. Because this is how I got in the situation. The frozen Milky Way. <laughs> ended up in the emergency room at 3 o'clock in the morning. Well. The pain was excruciating. Oh, my God. Oh That's because of the caramel. Is it caramel in there or no? Yeah, the sticky and oh, that like. Hard. Oh, my God. That's disturbing. Yeah, don't do that. I think it just created, like, such an ad adhesive in your mouth that it probably, like, ripped your tooth out. That's so scary. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. This is, this is what I see. This is my way of life. Prancer. Barry. Barry. <laughs> Did I get you? Did we get them? <laughs> I hope that came out good. I see now that it just didn't. It didn't come out good at all. I thought I was hiding behind Barry and you couldn't see me and it would really scare you and that the camera angles were set up perfectly aligned, but apparently not. <laughs> good try though. So our coworker was still working there having things with the new CFO and she said, oh, she fell out of her chair last week. <laughs> She's been out for a few days. <laughs> now I'm still high. I'm watching back the footage I shot earlier and I'm editing it high and creating, it's a perpetual loop. Oh no. <laughs> what? Things just get better and better tonight. So also I'm watching a YouTube video that's called In Love with a Serial Serial Killer, and it's about women who become obsessed with their marry or date serial killers. And this lady's been dating Richard Ramirez. I think this is an old documentary. Um, and she said, <laughs> listen to the letter he sent her <laughs> when they first started their courtship. So I fell in love with the Night Stalker, so... I know he killed a lot of people, but I don't really care about that. I just fell in love with him. Here's my favorite part. This is crazy. Wait, <laughs> okay. Sexual, okay this. Richard and Misty first write to each other about their feelings, but their letters quickly become much more intimate. Hi, Misty. Thank you for the nice card and letters. Warmest regards. Do you ever read autobiographies on music, bands? Do you shave your pussy? <laughs> um, <laughs> He started off the letter, warmest regards, and ended it with, do you shave your pussy? 
<laughs> we had a birthday party here the other day, so. And these guys are over here. And these folks over here. Hi again. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how my friend my friend's always complaining about a coworker of his that smells really bad and like everybody in the office knows but the manager when he, they bring it up to the manager she says I don't smell anything because she doesn't want to confront him I think she pretends she has no idea what they're talking about so every day when I talk to my friend, he's always complaining about the smelly guy in the office. Like, that's his daily problem. <laughs> oh, what a problem, right? <laughs> my mom's texting me. She finally found out. She finally found out. I didn't draw any of the paintings that I, when I went as a kid to art school, I told my parents, I came back with all these pictures. I told my parents, I didn't draw that. My teacher really helped out too much. She basically drew all the paintings in the class and my parents didn't believe me. They just thought I was like modest and <laughs> saying that the teacher like helped me draw it. Like, but the teacher did like 90% of these paintings that I came back with that my parents and grandparents thought were really good and that I had talent. But it's not like I didn't tell them that I didn't draw them. I didn't paint them. My teacher did. But now my mom's texting me because my friend, who my mom's friends with her mom, the, her, the mom just told my mom that... Jennifer never painted those paintings. The teacher did. And I said, LOL, yeah, I told you. I can't draw. I'm high again. I got a new phone. <laughs> Look, it's face recognizing Falcor in the background. It was. Oh. <laughs> Hey, oh, <laughs> Falcor. 